Oh, look, you lay your hand flat and then you guide it through. Oh, that's a good girl. You'll still get hang of it. Oh, lovely. I'll clock on for you lot sometime. Did you hear me? I said I'll clock on for you lot sometime. Oh, I see. We're playing that daft game, are we? Silly beggars, ten up. Do you know I've got this funny buzzing in my ears? Oh, well, you would have, wouldn't you? It's the draft blowing straight through. There's no to stop it, is there? Did you go to bingo Saturday night? Oh, yes, I went with Millie. Hey, did anybody got cop star fries? No. Oh. Do you know it's up to £2,000 now? No. Are you in with this lot, are they? Oh, I see. You're all in together, are you? Got you at it on your first day and all, love, whatever your name is. My name's Elsie Tanner. I don't suppose I'll ever get to know yours. I had a lovely night out on Saturday night. Did you, Elsie? Oh, yes, I did. Do you know, it took me into Manchester, then we went to the Odeon, and then we went to this new little restaurant in Princess Street. Oh, beautiful it was. We had a couple of drinks at the bar, and then this real classy dinner. And then I started with the avocado and prawns. Get away. It's true as I'm standing here, I did. Then I had a fillet steak like would melt in your mouth. And the vegetables, oh, you wouldn't believe. And what did I have for afters? Oh, as if I could ever forget. Cherries in brandy. Did you hear? Cherries in brand. Cherries in brandy. Good morning, Mr. Bobbin. And what have cherries in brandy got to do with running up jeans? Not a lot. Right, concentrate on the jeans. Let this stop get on with their work. Don't shout at them. They haven't said a word. It was me talking to myself. Hold on. This place gets more like a flaming madhouse every day. Yeah. Yes, you're right, it does. It does, doesn't it, girls? Blum, 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 blum. Yeah, flaming will kill her. <laughs> but we can talk amongst ourselves, you know. It's only here. Oh, blow you. Irene! Shut the door, will you? What's all this? Eh? Well, it's mine. In case you forgot, you did tell me that I could use this office any time you didn't want it. Yeah, but not for this. Not as a beauty parlour. I mean, suppose I bought a buyer back here, right? I opened that drawer and he saw this look. He think there's something wrong with me. Well, you've only got to tell him the truth. I mean, that's easy enough, isn't it? Yeah, well, I didn't call you near to talk about that. Now, look at this look. Look at that stitching, will you? That's Elsie's and that's Ida's. Now, I can understand Elsie. She's lovesick, but Ida's married. She can't be, can she? Well, what do you want me to do about it? Well, I want you to tell them. You are the supervisor. You've got a drawer full of goodies in there to prove it. I'll tell Ida, but you'll have to tell Elsie. Hey? Well, you get to know sooner or later. We're not talking to her. We've sent her to commentary. You what? Well, the girls reckon that if it hadn't been for her, we wouldn't have lost the Webster's order and had to go on a three-day <coughs> week. So we've sent her to Coventry. Oh, no, you haven't. Right, you lot, stop what you're doing and listen to me, will you? Now, I've just been informed that you've sent Elsie to Coventry. Now, I don't care what you do. You can put each other's hair out by the roots for all I care, but I'm not having anything like this going on in any firm that I run. It is cruel and it's callous. And it's going to stop now. Do you get me? I'm sorry, Mr. Baldwin. Well, what are you so sorry about? For being cruel and callous. I'll go easy on him in future. Now, look, Elsie, don't you joke. I knew a girl that topped herself over this stupid luck. Yeah, well, that won't happen to me. Yeah. Well, it stops now, get me? It stops right now! Dear, dear, dear. Getting it from all sides, aren't you? Uh, Home, home on the range, where the deer and the antelope play, where seldom... Are they still at it, are they? You're not stopping us, Mr Baldwin. I mean, you can't tell us who to talk to, no, we can't, you know. It's as human rights. You wouldn't recognise a human right if it slapped you in the kisser, and when I say it's stopping, it's stopping. Uh, uh, may I say a word? Hey, look, you're not excusing Please, me. Please, can I get a word in edgeways? This is no skin off my nose, you know. I can stand it as long as the Marx Brothers can. Who? No. The Marx Brothers. Harpo, Groucho, Chico. Don't you think they favour them? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I get your point. It's not that funny. Now, listen, what you are doing is the worst form of vindictiveness. It is cruel and it's nasty, and if it happened to you, 
you'd realise how nasty it is. Now, I can understand you old ones playing silly beggars, but what gets me annoyed is when you involved a young girl like Cathy. Now, I took her on at a very dodgy time. I don't want her walking into situations like this. What do you say, dear? I don't know, Mr Baldwin. I you just do what you're told, all right, love? Now, I'll tell you what I'm going to do, shall I? I'm going into my office. I'm going to sit down and see if I can dream up a few dirty tricks to play on you lot. Hey, you can't do all that, you know. That's victimisation, that is. Got it. Right, first time. I thought you'd recognise it, seeing as how you're so good at it. Home, home on the range. Good morning, everyone. Bye, Ek. Who needs sunshine? I've got these bright little faces to wish me good morning. And you were saying? Oh, I like I said. We're a bit pricey, like. But food were out of this world. Mm. And I tell you something else, they weren't stingy with it either. No, it's a good job and all, isn't it, with your appetite, Ida? Mm. Mind you, you want to watch it. You're getting a bum on you like the town hall extension. And you look as if you had a good night and all, Vera. Your eyes look like two poached eggs. <laughs> and what's tickling you? No, not at all. Now, come on, knock it off. There's too much yakking, no enough work round here. Well, don't glare at me, Vera. She's not talking to me. You wasn't talking to me, was you, Ivy? If I loved you... Elsie, just come in here a minute, will you? <sighs> now, look, just knock it off, will you? Me? Now, don't come the little Miss Innocent with me. Vera's nearly busting her gut. I just face to make a beetroot look anemic and you cut the atmosphere out there with a knife. It was them that sent me to Coventry, remember? Now, look, don't get smart with me. If it hadn't been for your antics, we will stop. We wouldn't be in this mess, would we? And whose idea was it for me to go out with him in the first place? Certainly not mine. All right. But how many times did I tell you you were playing with fire? What I do in my own time is my own business. But it isn't, is it? You weren't the one that get your fingers burnt. You nearly had the fact you down round our necks. Now, look, if you call me here to tell me that, you can save me breath. I know it by heart, OK? All right. All right. I won't argue with you. I won't get either of us anywhere, will it? Look, all I want to do is to keep this factory jogging along. If I don't, we won't even have a three-day week. So do me a favour, will you? Just cut out on the aggro. Don't tell me. Tell them they started it. I don't care who started it. I want it finished. And from where I'm sitting, you're the one in the driving seat. Yes, but it just so happens it may be finished sooner than you think. Oh? How come? Well, Wolf said he was going to try and get the order back. How? He said he was going to see old Webster. Old man Webster? It's easier to nip fog than get him to change his mind. Well, Wolf said he was going to anyway. Well, let's hope he's right for all our sakes, eh? Hey, I divvy up for this and all, you know. Uh what do you think you're doing? I'm not talking to her, am I? You're supposed to be ignoring her. She's entitled to a tea break, same as the rest of us. Pass that teapot over here. It's not doing no harm. Now, listen, I'm warning you. Kate. Leave it, Vera. Hey, you leave her be. She's not helpless, you know. I think you're rotten, the lot of you. It's not human the way you're treating her. I hate it here. If I'd known what you lot are like, I'd never have started in first place. Well, you know where door is, don't you? Knock it off, Vera. She's only a kid. I will not knock it off. If she's one of us, she starts acting like one of us. Right, now, I'm warning you lot. I've had it up to here, right? I'm trying to make a phone call in there. For, for God's sake, keep quiet, will you? Sorry, Mr Baldwin. Right, you heard him. Well, she started it. Oh, come off it, Ida. Honestly, you pay. You've had a go out that's flaming mud since first thing this morning. Well, Matt, no, no, sad. You'll be on. I'm on the side of common sense, I am, Vera Duckworth. And I'm beginning to think that when it went handed out, you were in another flipping queue. Now, listen here. No. I won't. You listen for a change. We've done nothing but scraps since we started this blasted Coventry like, and where's it gone, eh? She's the one we're supposed to be getting at, and just look at her. I mean, she's flaming suicidal, isn't she? Well, you can spout till you got Godfrey's at the edges, but I'm not backing down, and I'm not on my own either. Aye. So whose side are you on? You stick up for yourself, love. Don't let them walk all over you. Just because they treat their husbands like doormats doesn't mean to say they can do the same thing here. Well, at least we've got our own husbands to go, on not uh, We haven't gone through more fellas and not dinners, have we? No. And at least they are as own husbands. I'll tell you something, Vera Duckworth. If that tongue of yours doesn't strangle you to death one of these days, I flaming well will. Oh, I? You and who's army? Vera, you spoke to me. <laughs> now look what you've gone and done. You spoke to her. She treat me. You treat me, then. I don't know what you're talking about, Vera. <laughs> <sighs> And what are you laughing at? You've got to see funny side, haven't you? Eh, yeah, she couldn't see funny side of a Mickey Mouse. What? 
Anyway, seeing as it's all over, please, can we get on with some work now? Just hang on a minute. I have a bone to pick with her. What was that about my eyes looking like two pork steaks? <laughs> hey, I think she's got a point, Vera. I think you're having far too many late nights just lately. Oh, I and I suppose she had a point when she said you're behind. We're well, like a town hall extension and all. <laughs> oh, why, you're right. Right, that's it. It's like trying to work in a flaming parrot house in there, and I'm not having it, right? Now, the next minute I eat any aggro about Coventry, anything like that, you'll be down that road so fast your feet won't touch. It's, it's all over now, though, Mr. Baldwin. Over? Well, well, what are you talking about? Well, it's finished. We're back to normal now. Yes. We're all one big happy family. <laughs>